start to uh, use a lot more uh, technology. You know, everything is completely computer-based, autonomous and stuff. Um, so because of this, we start facing problems. Uh, an example would be like uh, cell phone tower um, interferences, uh, solar energy, and uh, to tackle those kind of problems, we can use uh, programmers to help solve these worldwide problems. So um, an example could be uh, Facebook, which almost almost a lot of people use, even for education or just uh, business. Um, it was created by Mark Zuckerberg, a programmer himself. Um, and you know, more than 1.2 billion people use his software um, everywhere just to communicate. So as a computer programmer and a third year study here at Cal State, um, I have experience in programming in about two languages. And um, I've noticed how much it has, how important it is in our daily lives. So learning how computer programming affects our everyday lives will better, help us better understand how this field helps us in real world situations. So what I'll be talking about would be um, some background information of how computer programming or computer science has uh, started, um, why is it important and how it has changed our lives, and lastly, how people can learn it. So what is a computer programmer? A computer programmer is someone who writes code to a computer telling it what to do and to output software in its given language. So this is an example of how code would look like and I'll show you how a program I wrote, um, how it runs. So this is a program I wrote using Google Maps, my example, building Google, Map inter uh, Google Maps interface and trying to find a path. Uh, this is uh, Alhambra. So this is the Alhambra Park in the pool. Start point and end point, and I'm trying to use a logic algorithm to find the best point from point A to point B. Also using cell phone interface, it's still beta testing, I'm not done with it. But uh, just show you an example of what computer programming can do. So how it all started. So this is uh, Conrad Zeus. He was uh, one of the first computer programmers, I guess you could say, that uh, he worked on something called the plan calcul, also known as uh, plan calculus, which was the first algorithm programming language. His goal was to use this language for um, theoretical precondition preconditions in our today's society, um, just using just um, algorithms and anything to help solve those real world problems. So, now that we've talked about how CS came about and how it was really started, uh, let's move on to why it is important. Oh, sorry, yeah. Okay, so first, programming languages that are created today is um, that the first ones were used were Fortran, Basic, and Lisp. One of the three languages that were created. Um, an example, Lisp. It was uh, used to create uh, artificial intelligence programs, so AIs, which we use a lot in uh, simulation. And as I said before, uh, Facebook was you uh, programmed in C++ and Java, one of the computer languages that exist today. So, why is computer programming important? So the, 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 the demand of computer programmers are at an all-time high. That, as you can see through the graph, the deliver statistics. By 2020, there'll be about 400,000 computer programmers that graduate from a college or university. Although there's 1.4 million jobs out there for computer programmers, so only about 28% fit in through those jobs. So as you see, there's more demand than there is supply. So um, I've talked about its importance. Um, I'll talk about an interview with uh, Kevin Calvert and James Ingram. Uh, he's a PhD professor at uh, University of Kentucky. Um, one of the examples is saying now companies are trying to talk to them how to, for students to get into the mobile world technology. And they need programmers that came to go into cell phone receptionists or I mean, cell, cell phone towers you know, to help fix this kind of problem. Um, and it just shows how much demand there is for computer programmers and there is supply. And of course, there's not many of the many students who are studying in this type of major. So. So how can a person learn it outside of school? So one of the good things that um, you can learn through as well because public schools don't teach 
computer science as any course you can just take for fun and use to learn. So, you know, many children don't know what a computer programmer is or what they do. So, code.org is a great way for a person with no background in this type of field. They can learn how to study this and they can learn the logic behind it. Now, they introduced the Hour of Code, which is very famous now. About 99.5 million people have used this site to learn how to just program basic utilities from children to celebrities. And show you a small video. But these are just a few individuals who have used this uh, site to learn. People writing anywhere from two lines of coding to anywhere to about 100, which is a very good way then to start in this field. And it's a lot of fun. And that's Mark Zuckerberg to the creator of Facebook. So as I said, um, it's important to discuss the field of the study in order to understand how important computer scientists or computer programmers are in today's world and how they affect us with all the technology we use today. So uh, I described uh, what computer scientist is and how it all started, how important it is, it is in our society, and how our type organization like Code.org can help us learn this type of language. First, don't be afraid to start something new. Um, programming, a lot of people don't take it because it's very um, intimidating. When you look at code, it's just very complicated, but it's a lot easier when you just start very small. You don't need big programs to start with. You can just start with something like Hello World, which is the most basic programming you can use. And um, one of the memorable quotes there is to Steve Jobs, that I think everyone in this country should learn to program a computer. Everyone should learn their computer language because it teaches you how to think. I think of computer science as a liberal art, and I was said by Steve Jobs, the creator of Apple. And that concludes my speech. Thank you.